Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out that Jaspies 11 box triple crown baseball mixer, which includes that flawless box right there. That's pretty nice. So it's a 30 spot break. Everyone gets a random team in the MLB. No veteran commons ship right here. And we got a game used bat in the mix right here, which is right here on my back table. So we'll do that. We'll do that box last. Big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. Whether you bought spots straight up or whether you won spots, congrats again. Thank you very much. There's all the teams right there. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we've got Matthew down to Jarrett. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got the Nats down to the Rocks. All right, Matthew, Nationals, Jonathan with the Rangers, Robert with the Twins, Farron with the Indians, PJ with the Reds, Jeremy with the Braves and the Mariners, Jonathan with the Phillies, Jimmy with the Angels, PJ with the Tigers, William with the Marlins, Daniel with the Royals, Robert with the Rays, Seth with the Blue Jays, PJ with the Astros, Matthew with the Padres, Mac with the Yankees, Robert with the Cubs, Mike with the Pirates, Ethan with my Dodgers, PJ with the Giants, David with the Orioles, Robert with the Brewers, Jordan with the A's, Dayton with the White Sox, Jimmy with the Mets, Brandon with the Cardinals, Jonathan with the Red Sox and the Diamondbacks, and Jarrett K with the Colorado Rockies. So let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B. And let's box these up. We're going to pause the video for just a second and see if there's any trades. And when we come back, we'll have the break too. Stick around. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The trade window is closed, so that list you saw on the previous screen and hot off the presses right here remains the same. Thanks for hanging out with us on a Friday. Thanks for starting your weekend with us. Jaspie's 11 box triple crown baseball mixer. Uh oh. Off the wall. Hmm. Interesting. Dodgers 8 3 now. All right, let's start with the Leaf Flash Baseball that's right in front of us. And we'll go by our no checks. I don't think there's a, I don't know if, actually, let's take a look. I don't know if there is a group break checklist for this. We'll either go by the checklist or we'll go by our non-pro non uniform rules. We'll go to the team they're currently on if they're active. Or they'll go to the team they played for the longest if they're inactive. I think they're all active players, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Of course, that doesn't matter if there's a checklist, and I think there is. All right, so for the six cards in here, we'll go by that Leaf Flash Baseball checklist. All right, first one out of the gate is Flash of Brilliance autograph, Luis Rodriguez. And Luis Rodriguez goes to my Dodgers. Oh, Joe Kelly. All right, and that'll be for Ethan and the Dodgers. Next up is Ian Seymour. 13 out of 25. Ian Seymour is a Tampa Bay Ray. That'll go to Robert Flores. And we'll do a we'll do a uh, autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Autograph and relic recap. Julio Rodriguez. I know where he goes. Seven, 37 out of 50. That's Seattle. Big prospect for the Mariners. Jeremy. Right? I'm not confusing this with another Julio Rodriguez, right? That is the Julio Rodriguez. Yes, Mariners Julio Rodriguez. Flash of Brilliance autograph for Jeremy and the Mariners. We've got Kobe Mayo, 19 out of 50. 
Kobe Mayo is a Baltimore Oriole. That'll go to David and the O's. A couple more here. We got Emerson Hancock, which I think is also a Mariner. I think one of their top pitching prospects for the M's. Yes, Seattle, another one for uh, for Jeremy and the M's. And the last one here is is another Emerson Hancock. Three out of five this time. What a break for the Mariners in this flash. I think three, three or four of the autos. Mariners, Jeremy, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. For Seattle, people are saying top of the rotation guy for Emerson Hancock. Probably better than Logan Gilbert, I think, is the other big name there. I think it's supposed to be better than Logan Gilbert. All right, now let's go through some of these base-heavy stuff right here. We'll start with this heritage, and then we'll close with the, uh, the flawless and then the baseball bat behind me over there. All right, so this is 2021. Tops Heritage Baseball. Good luck. Oh, and you'll twins, you'll get this Tony Oliva as well. So we're looking for a real one autograph, which are kind of fewer and far between, or a relic card in every box. Hmm. Come on, Joe Kelly. All right. Any finals here? I think we, we should have some finals in baseball. The Astros ended up beating the Blue Jays 13-1. to The Astros pounding out 16 hits. That's crazy. Granke with the win. Hyunjin Ru with the loss. So it must have been a lot of, a lot of runs there. Um, Scherzer outduels Wheeler. Soto homers. Nationals beat the Phillies in Philadelphia 2-1. to Ryan Mountcastle home run. Orioles keep winning in June and beat the Indians. They beat the Indians 3-1 to in Baltimore. We got Nate Ivaldi takes the win. Red Sox beat the Yankees in the Bronx five to two. I think all the other games are in progress. Mets at Padres just started. Padres up one nothing early. Uh, Cubs are in San Francisco. Giants are up three two. Mariners and Angels are tied at twos. Otani on the mound. So that he's on my fantasy team. So that means he gave up a couple runs. Come on, Shohei. Uh, A's up on the Rockies in Colorado, 6-3 in the top of the fifth. Reds up 4-1 on the Cardinals in St. Louis, top of the seventh. Royals just been pounding out the runs, 13 runs so far. A lot of them are early, too. 13-2, they're in the top of the sixth against the Twins in Kansas City. White Sox up 7-3 on the Tigers in the top of the seventh. Brewers up 4 nothing on the Diamondbacks in the top of the 8th in Milwaukee. In Texas, the Rangers are up 5-2 on the Rays, bottom of the 8th. In Atlanta, we've got the game on in the background. Dodgers up 8-3 in the bottom of the 8th with uh, runners on 1st and 2nd. Pablo Sandoval on the mound. Joe Kelly, not uh, shaky reliever Joe Kelly on the mound right here. And in the bottom of the ninth, uh, no, I think this game's a final. Pirates are up 9-2. It says bottom of the ninth on the scoreboard, but they're leading. They wouldn't be hitting in the bottom of the ninth. So Pirates win 9-2 over the Marlins in Pittsburgh. That's your, that's your scoreboard update at 7.30 Pacific for Friday, June 4th, 2021. If you're watching this break video from the future, then you probably know all the results of this game already, these games already. Here's our first 
Our second box of this, second of 11 boxes. Good luck. Uh, we'll do left right randomizers on these. Oh, we got left right and center randomizers too. Come on, Heritage. Oh, where does this go? All right, so all these non baseball cards I'm going to collect together as one lot and one person at the end of the break. We'll, uh, we'll win those. I don't know why that's flipped around. That must be some sort of variation. So that's for the Phillies. That's going to go to Jonathan. Jumbo Jacks. Oh, yeah. Good eye right there, Rebel. Yeah, it says action right there where my finger is pointing. Uh, yeah, these are all the same team, but for the randomizer purposes, it'll represent cards like that. And there's the relic, Clubhouse Collection, Jorge Alfaro, game use memorabilia for the fish. That's going to be for William and the Marlins. Right, but that'll 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 just represent it's just a placeholder for the other left, right, and center cards that have different teams. Come on, guys. So for these cards. Would you rather have me use this? Does that make more sense? Oh, come on. There's a Chrome Jorge Polanco for the Twins. That'll be for Robert Flores. And we'll do all these randomizers at the end. All right, here's 2020 Series 1 baseball. Come on, Joe Kelly. Let's get out of this inning. Killing me here, man. Joe Kelly always does this. Which auto inserts Hollywood?
Out of heritage? They don't? I don't know if that's true. I want to say that, at least for modern product, they all almost are required to say this autograph is guaranteed by Panini or Tops or whatever the case may be. And I haven't seen an auto out of these out of Heritage in a while, but I'm pretty I'm pretty certain that it should say auto on the some sort of auto cert certification on the back. I think they're almost legally required to do that to avoid that very situation you're talking about. You bought a box and there was an autograph with nothing on the back? I don't know. Can someone double check that? I'm not sure if that's that'd be that'd be wild if that was if that was the case. Yes, David. There's a promotion for local Los Angeles Jack in the Boxes. If the Dodgers uh, strike out ten batters, then the next day, with the purchase of a medium drink, you'll get a jumbo Jack. I think someone was telling me earlier, I think Brian Peoples was telling me earlier that in San Diego, uh, in San Diego, it's uh, a home run. And then I think the next day there'll be a jumbo jack for you if you get a medium drink. It was a Phil Regan. Are you sure there was Hollywood? Are you sure there wasn't a stamp on front? Sometimes if there's, if it's a buyback card, they'll put a stamp on front. And that'll prevent people from just faking autographs on regular cards and saying it's from Heritage. There's a Liam Hendricks foil for the A's. So Jordan Alvarez, rookie. It's a Gavin Lux rookie. There's Wilson Contreras, 7 out of 25. That's for the Cubs. And that is for Robert Flores. What made me a Raiders fan over the Chargers? Well, first off, when I was growing up, the Raiders were in Los Angeles and the Chargers were in San Diego. <laughs> and I grew up in Los Angeles. I'm a little too young to be following the Los Angeles Chargers. Just a little, though. Keeps their narrative going that he is getting 
Well, David, there was a time they were in Los Angeles. Believe it or not. And the hobby exclusive. Jesus Lazardo, Goldschmidt, Machado, Glaber Day. Bro, well, yeah, I mean they were they were in Oakland before LA, but I wasn't following the NFL when they were in Oakland. <laughs> This is a 2020 Series 1. Yeah, David Rex's question was, why, why did I end up being a, a, a Raiders fan? Because they were in L.A. when I started following football. No, Bo Jackson was, uh, was L.A. Raiders. That's a run. Nice, Mookie. that angle he didn't get him yeah it's a run they're not going to challenge it Dodgers up 9-5 on the Braves in the top of the ninth we need the Dodgers to wrap this game up so we can flip back to the basketball game This year, I don't like because the, the names are so tiny right there. It makes it a little tough. That's a facsimile autograph, not a real one. And there's a Pete Alonzo relic right here. You got a little bit of the Mets pinstripe in there. Metropolitans, Jimmy Brandt. Yeah, letters are too, way too tiny. What's up with that? They must have got the feedback because... The following year, I think the following, I don't have an example, the following year, it was, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a lot bigger. That's just way too small. 
No, this is the this is the current year. Last year was a lot better. And the one all on the way. Two balls, no strikes to Cody Bellinger. Tomorrow, good pitching matchup. Game two of the series, Charlie Morton for Atlanta. Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. Max Freed on Sunday afternoon against Trevor Bauer. And 26 out of 70. Got a black border, Ronald Guzman for the Rangers. Jonathan with Texas. Flawless will not go number block tonight. So if you want to get that break done, we got to get that done the old-fashioned way. Now, by the time this long mixer is over, we're not going to have too much time for other breaks. So we filled up that flawless football straight up before. I feel like we can do it again tonight if properly motivated. Must be some variation there. There's Justin Verlander. That'll be for PJ and the Astros. Break King sold out. Ooh, nice. You know what I would love to do? Another Break King. Could we fill another one up by the end of the night? I'm going to post another one right now. And everyone saw the new, the slight change in the... Uh, Stars and Legends, right? If you haven't, read the item description. Slight update in the item description. Check it out. I'm sure everyone everyone reads the item descriptions, right? So breaking's pretty fun and pretty easy to do. If you want to knock out another one before we call it a night, um, it's like a 10, 15 minute break. It just goes by letter, super easy. And, you know, maybe put a, a really nice graded card in your hands before we call it. And out of 2021, we've got a Mitch Moreland for the Padres. That'll be for Matthew T. 1688 out of 2021. We got Keston Hira. Yachty and Bren Lau and a Brady Singer. Nice to 50. Royals. Greg McDaniel with KC. It's out of 150, that is. 24 out of 150. All right, now let's go into some 2021 Donruss baseball. Looking for three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average.
Just read the description. PJ. If you remember the way it was before, then you'll see the change right away. If you didn't know what it was before, then it's not really going to matter to you because you were buying it. You were going to be buying it anyway. Kenley. I got basketball to watch. You missed the other bit too, Ben. Yeah, no one really pays attention to those... Uh, to those, to those uh, descriptions, huh? Then it doesn't matter <laughs> what the change was. Just once is fine, Chris Freeze. Yeah, we can get that Court Kings done. Just once is fine. Braxton Garrett, Signature Series Autograph, Miami. Ah, there you go, Ben. Ben pays attention to the descriptions. Marlins, William. Gold star for Ben. There's Alex Kirilov. There you go, PJ. Ben's Ben figured it out. Eagle Eye Ben, I appreciate it. Thank you. There's Glaber Torres to 149. Bartola Cologne, big sexy nickname. Love that. Jazz Chisholm to 2021. And Tristan McKenzie, autograph. Nice. Cleveland. Farron with the Tribe. <laughs> That's enough of that, Rex. People might actually think you're serious. And then that causes more trouble, and that wastes my time. Brian Reynolds to 2021. Javier Baez. And Nate Pearson to 100. Correct, Mike Tower. Thank you. Yeah, we actually got a number of cases of that, so I thought that the update was worth it. This Denilson Lamette, David Peterson. <laughs> Did he really come back? Oh, okay. No worries, man. 
And that's numbered right there to 349. Well, Sean needs to ban those people right away. He has got, he's got to take control of the room. Lesson learned. Yeah, that's that's pretty basic. Like, fine if you're if you're trolling, if you if you get banned once, I get that. But it's pretty basic if you're <laughs> if you. It's pretty sad if you're coming back again and again. Like, it really makes me feel bad for their lives. And especially like the people who like have like like spammer accounts and stuff like that. You know, you feel bad for those people. Unleashed, Jordan Alvarez to 9.99. I know. Yeah, I mean. I suppose that's what they want. This what they want to do with their lives. He never came back with the. Well, I mean, I don't really care. As long as they're banned and out of our lives. Luis Castillo. I feel like we're wasting enough time on them right now already. Juan Soto relic. Because that's the attention that they want, you guys. So. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Juan Soto, Matt F, Nationals. Let's talk about how Kenley Jansen has put two men on already. Oh, there's the first out, Kenley, finally. Chef G, Garrett Cole. Trending, Luis Robert to 999, and we got a rated rookie card, Dalton Varsho. Why did I accidentally... Sorry, Chris, you can you can copy that again. I accidentally <laughs> hid that message. I clicked the wrong button. Chris Freeze wants to get that uh, opulence filler done. If that filler goes and those straight up spots go, then we'd be in Breaksville. Pedro Martinez to 2021. And Cabrian Hayes rated rookie card for Mike Tower and the Pirates. Bam, bam, 24 out of 50, Brandon Lau. And there's Carlos Correa. And Kenley Jansen in these non-save situations, they have, the Dodgers have a four-run lead. I don't know. It's like that, there's like a psychological thing with like, with closers. Where you put them in a non-save situation, sometimes, they're not as locked in. <laughs> you know, PJ, I have never seen any other O except for O'Neal in that break, by the way. Orange slice candy? Like an orange wedge hard candy that you can find in a small little tin like that like uh like you see it like your grandma's house i know right ben they're always giving up runs and non-save opportunities i don't even know why they brought kenley in oh why is that card flipped around like that interesting Right, with the crystal crystally sugar no, I'm thinking I'm thinking hard candy. I've not seen an Otani in there either, Ryan. 
the only the only thing I've seen out of that breaking break from O is uh, is O'Neal. Chewy ones with crystal sugar. I have uh, I have vitamin C chewies because I'm ten, I'm ten years old. I have vi I have vitamin C chewies that are in orange slice. Uh, in an orange slice design that are chewy and they kind of have like a crystally sugar on top of it. There you go, Kenley. Two odds. I got to go to the basketball game, Kenley. Hurry. Close this game out. Max Scherzer, 18 out of 60. Jose Barrios to 99. Is this a parallel hot box? It's possible. Robert with the Twins and Matthew with the Nats. I think it is Joey Gallo to 99. Nomar Mazzara to 99. Both of those for Jonathan and the Rangers. There's Matt Chapman to 35 for the A's. Jordan. Dennis Santana for the Dodgers to 99. That's for Ethan. And to 150, Jose Ramirez, red, white, and blue for the Tribe. That'll be for Farron. I don't think they're going to put Gunnar Olszewski in there in uh, in that breaking break. I don't know if people would be very happy about that. You would be happy. PJ would be happy. There's Brandon Crawford to 150. Did I give that to A, Mike Tower? It should go to A. There's Sean Newcomb to 76. There's Ryan Baruki to 76. Get it? It's, it's the We the People insert to 76. I gave it to A? Good, as it should be. Goes to the first letter of their last name as it's stated on the card. Got Brandon Crawford to 150. Pete Alonzo, rated rookie hollow. Nice. And a Joe Adele autograph. Wow. Rated prospect auto for Jimmy Brandt gets the Joe Adele. Oshelfsky? Oshevsky? Seems like a, seems like an inefficient use of letters. There's Willie Calhoun to 199. There's the Pete Alonzo hollow for the Mets, Jimmy Brandt. I failed Polish in language in, uh, in high school. You know what my favorite hard candy is, Rex? In terms of hard candy, I don't do a lot of chewy candies. There's Tyler O'Neill, who had an excellent catch against my Dodgers to rob Mookie Betts of extra bases. There's Taylor Hearn. Taylor Hearn for Texas, and the Tyler O'Neill goes to uh, Brandon Hall. Uh, lemon drops. Like those old... You can find them, Lemon Drops, in, uh, I think, Brax? Is that the brand? It's pretty common. Ken Griffey Sr. Nice Ken Griffey Sr. Is that Yankees edition? That must be Yankees edition. I guess I don't remember Ken Griffey. But yeah, Lemon Drop. Not Lemon Heads. Which, uh, which has the chewy outside and the candy core center. Yeah, he, he played with the Yankees for four years or so. But yeah, lemon drops. Sometimes, uh, in maybe a couple of hours away from here, there is a um, there is a ghost town, Calico Ghost Town. There's an old silver mine, maybe an old some sort of mineral mine. 15 out of 15, too. Yankees, Mac with that one, Mac Peak. And they're, they have, they sell old-fashioned candy there. And uh, and you can get them in like a little brown paper bag, paper wrapping, little old-fashioned lemon drop candies. Those are pretty good. There's JT Real Muto. Yay, that's the game. Good job, Dodgers. 
So added some runners on base, but Kenley closed it out. Good job. Hugging with Will Smith. Good call. Talking about some missed moments. All right, that's good. Let's flip back to the basketball game. What's happening here? We got Dallas. Oh, it's a close one. 77-75. 11 minutes. Fourth quarter just started. Perfect timing, Kenley Jansen. There's Eric Hosmer. There's Jacob DeGrom to 125. Cole Tucker to 199. I like all the uh, Paradise Parallel hot box in here. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, Old Town Sacramento. You scoop your own candy into a bag, then they weigh it. Absolutely. Yeah, get some candy, Rebel. I don't. I don't have candy too often, but I, w I will enjoy some lemon drops. Sometimes in like touristy seaside towns. Probably next to the next to the uh, the handmade toffee shop, there'll be a hard candy shop next door. I remember one in in Monterey, California, where they have the aquarium. There's some good tourist traps there selling you hard candies. Probably overpriced, but that's okay because you're on vacation. All right, three boxes of Diamond Kings, a case of Flawless, and then the baseball bat, and then we're done. And then we'll go through some orders and we'll uh, see who filled up that Break King break. And then we'll see if we can squeeze in another break or two before we call it a night. I would love to do another Break King break to, to close out the night. Flawless is almost in single digits. I would love that. So those are some quick, quick uh, examples of breaks we can do. This break, I think, is taking a little bit longer than I thought, but should get us to the bottom of the hour by the time all said and done. Yeah, Knott's Berry Farm... Should have hard candy. I haven't been to Knott's Berry Farm since, since I was a kid, but Knott's Berry Farm should have that. They have jam, of course. Their jam is excellent, Knott's Berry Farm preserves. Apparently, there's an excellent fried chicken spot at Knott's Berry Farm, which I've not been to. Vito, it's on the site, jaspiescasebreaks.com. You'll see the price there. I think it's 100 bucks. I don't know. It's on the site. It, it did not, Chris. I think I, I think I mentioned this to you. Every time you mention opulence, I mentioned the filler. There's a filler attached to that opulence. Chris doesn't pay attention to me. And that's on the break schedule, too. They'll give you all the filler information as well. So it is not full. Every time, pro tip, everybody. This is for Chris and everybody. I know Chris is new here. Every time something fills, always double check to see if there's some kind of filler attached to it. A lot of times we do those giveaways within those packs. And I always do my best to keep that information updated in the break schedule. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see the, in fact, Nightbot just dropped in the chat right now, schedule plus filler info. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see that filler info and exact, see exactly how many packs we need to do to fill up a break. Jake Cronenworth, nice dual relic going to Matthew T. And the Friars. And there's Cabrian Hayes, autograph. Nice. Dual relic and auto going to Mike Tower and the Buckos. Did Cabrian Hayes blast one today? Good. That looks sounds like he's back on track after that after all those wrist issues. Dead center, even better. No lingering effects from the wrist. All right, next Diamond Kings box.
Rex remembers going to Knott's Berry Farm when you were a kid, and there was this moving robot guy at the entrance. When the parent goes in first, they say all the name of the kids. How do they know the name of the kids? I think that robot ended up going on a rampage at Knott's Berry Farm and set back human robo robo human relations for decades. And then Terminator 2 came out, and then there everyone's like, nope. No more robots. Seventy nine seventy nine in this late Clippers at Dallas. LA at Dallas. Nine minutes left. Everyone had the under on this, right? Oh, the parents tell the kids, and so the kids are, the kids are, how did these guys know, how does this robot know my name? I'd be terrified if a robot knew my name, and I didn't know it. There's Manny Machado. Ben hopes the Mavs win, but he kind of wants a Game 7 in a playoff series. Game sevens are pretty exciting. A game seven would be fun. And we got a Mariano Rivera, Jersey Kings. Got a bit of the Yankees pinstripe right there for the Yankees. That'll go to Mac. There you go. Not numbered right here. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's one pack per box, Vito. And the and what you could pull out of there, it's in the item description on jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's Tristan McKenzie. There's Alex Kirloff, two-color, dual relic, and autograph. That's for Robert and the Twins. Nice, one of their, one of their uh, top prospects in that organization. Almost done, folks. This last Diamond Kings box, then the flawless, then the autographed baseball bat. Good luck, everybody. Almost there. Five eighty four Dallas. Seven seventeen left. It's a good one. No, no worries, Vito. I'm just in the middle of something, that's all. <laughs> Otherwise I would I would show you on the website, but all the information's there. We're pretty good about getting as detailed as we possibly can on the uh, as detailed as we can on the in the item description, just so have all that information. And Nightbot frequently drops that schedule in the chat as well, so you can always keep track of what filler inf what fillers we got to do. You know, especially if it's a busier night, what breaks are lined up, so on and so forth. Work is a part of my vow. Share the load. Wealth is 
saving a little extra. Worth is knowing it's never too late to start. Or too early. Is that a downtown card coming up? I love these cards. Yeah. Woo! There it is. Mookie bets. If you, in case you ever wonder what downtown LA looks like, if you've never been there, it looks like this. It looks exactly like that. Paparazzi, red carpet, white limos. Right? No, no, no. Not according to Panini. That's pretty nice. Dodgers, Ethan Cook, who won that spot there. I don't know what I don't know what that's supposed to be. Are these just this might be either I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but I don't know if that's the observatory that's supposed in the background or just houses in the Hollywood Hills. It's obvious little little gate clapper thing. But I don't know if that's just supposed to be some generic houses up in the Hollywood Hills. Or if that's supposed to be a sort of representation of, uh, of uh, the observatory. Where a lot of the kids around here will go to. Ramon, did you ever go to the observatory when you were in elementary school? Hmm. I know. I've, I've been with friends like when they do like the music thing in the laser shows. I think in elementary, my school went once. A lot of the Southern California schools or LA area schools will end up going there. Did you do a Catalina trip? Mm-hmm. Our elementary school did Catalina too. 18 out of 25, Travis Blankenhorn. No, maybe that was middle school. Didn't do a lot of the trips. I think, th I think those were the only ones. There was like a trip to there, and and then there was a middle school Catalina trip, and I think that was about it. All right, nice Mookie Betts card. I love the downtown cards, too. I think they're pretty sharp. I, I don't have a house in the hills yet, Stephen Wright. Not yet. We, we got to move. We got to move some more Court Kings basketball if we want to get that going. Go Tigers! What's going on? How are you? Alright, and we got a nice Tony Gwynn. Nice. Quad Relic Tony Gwynn. Gone too soon. 15 out of 25. Padres. That's for Matthew T. All right, and flawless coming out. Almost there. Almost there. And we'll do some randomizers at the end. Good luck, everybody. Got some nice stuff coming out. We got the flawless. We got the baseball bat. Is Willens asked to deal pitching again for the Twins? That's awesome. All right, try not to look at the encased cards inside. Leading off is Rod Carew. Blockchain greats, dual memorabilia autographs, platinum, which I think is a one of one maybe, but I don't know where this Rod Carew goes. Let's go to the checklist. Because he's played for a couple different teams at least. He threw a 41 mile per hour pitch for a strike. If he could do it, I could be pitching in the major leagues in blowout games. I can throw 41. 
right, let's scroll down to the blockchain cards. Blockchain Greats Duel. Blockchain Greats Duel. Card number eight, Rod Carew. So according to CardboardConnection.com, that is Twins Edition. Yeah, I checked it, PJ. It is indeed Twins Edition, Rod Carew. So I want to keep that bets right there because I want to take a picture of that. All right, so that goes to Robert Flores and the Twins. There's Gavin Lux, 8 out of 15. Nice two-color patch for Ethan and the Dodgers. So we'll go into a fatter top loader here. And you got 5 out of 15. Jackie Robinson, Sandy Koufax, Duke Snyder, Triple Relic. So the historical Dodgers. Woo! That is awesome. Ethan with the Dodgers. Enclosed game worn slash used material. That is awesome. Three Dodger legends right there. Nice. We've got. Whoa! Five out of ten. Cabin Biggio. Signature prime materials. Looks like the, the Canadian flag, right? That must be from a hat or something like that. Maybe the jersey. That's awesome. That needs a different, needs a slider box. Toronto, that's going to be Seth with the Blue Jays. We've got a nice Austin Meadows quad relic and autograph. That's pretty sweet, too. That's four out of 20. It's a nice smoking hit there for Tampa Bay, Robert Flores. Another nice patch. 17 out of 20, Dylan Cease. That's for the White Sox. That's going to go to Dayton. And a nice black ink autograph. That's Kurt Schilling. Nine out of 25. And that is Boston. That's for Jonathan and the Red Sox. Twelve out of 15. Eloy Jimenez. Get well soon. Dayton and the White Sox. And a 4 out of 10, Pete Alonzo on card autograph. Jimmy Brandt with the Mets. There you go, Jimmy. All right, and the encase cards, There's, it's just left, right, I think. Sometimes a center, but no, just in the, in the center slot is just the, the uh, diamond guarantee agreement. They're naturally mine, not lab grown. Let's do the non-auto first. That's on this left side. Woo! Four out of five, double diamond, Ken Griffey Jr. That is for Jeremy Razor and the Seattle Mariners. He started the break off hot, ending the break hot as well. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, and the last one, and then the baseball bat. Wow. Triple Relic and Autograph, 3 out of 20. Bo Bichette, another Blue Jay for Seth.
That's pretty strong. And there you go. Empty briefcase. Case is closed. All right, now the game used baseball bat. Game used edition. right here on the inside of the cap. All right, so now unless the team is clearly on here, oh, the team is on here. So I was going to say, unless the if the team wasn't on here, it'll go to the team that this player is currently on, right? And if the player was inactive, it'll go to the team they played for the longest, but the team is stamped on here, so that makes life easy for me. Nice, it's got the, yeah, this is really cool. All right, you can see the, the pine tar is right here. So, who am I? We'll play one quick round of who am I. I'm an active baseball player. Thirty-five years old, from Downey, California, right-hander. Played for only two teams my entire career. This is my original team, not the team I'm currently on. I've got a lifetime 267 batting average, 1,795 hits, 313 home runs, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and 1,072. Excuse me, <clears throat> got all choked up about this player. Um, and 1,072 runs batted in. Three-time All-Star, AL Rookie of the Year, three-time Gold Glover, Silver Slugger, and hit for the cycle back in 2017. Hey, how did... What gave it away? Uh, well, Jesse's low. What gave it away, Go Tigers? Did Downey give it away? Oh, I made this way too easy. Made, it way, made, made the Who Am I way too easy. Terrible. They're cheating? I didn't really give away too much unless there's only one player in the majors that's from Downey. Jesse knows because that's because he's he's local. All right. Well, yeah, it's Evan Longoria. Oh, go Tigers can tell by the bat he has one. Okay. I was like, that was a fast guess. All right. It's Evan Longoria. And there it is. Game used, an autograph, and there it is. Stamps Tampa Bay Rays. So that's going to go to Robert Flores and the Tampa Bay Rays. That's awesome. You got all the authentication back here. This is actually not that heavy of a bat. I feel like I could wield this bat in a game. I feel like I could wield this bat in a game. There's the MLB logo right here, too. This is really cool. Love these game-used bats. You can still see the... You can still feel the pine tar stickiness right here, too. That is awesome. No, there's no crack in this one. The previous bats we've seen with, like... They were, like, broken bats. That I guess they would source and then have the player sign, but in this instance, there is no crack on the. Well, actually, there's a little bit right here. Actually, there is a crack. Usually, the crack is more significant. But there it is right here. Yeah. All right, there you go. 
Tampa Bay Rays. Once again, that's Robert Flores. All right. Let's do some randomizers. So first of all, the, these group of cards right here, no baseball team attached to it. They'll go to one person in the break, and then we'll do a few separate randomizers for these. So let's do a little bit of housekeeping, and then I'll do a quick recap for you. All right, so first one is left, right. I should, I should make that the thumbnail. Middle one is left, right, center. And then we have the 2020 NL Home Run Leaders card. Marcel Ozuna, Tatis Jr., Pete Alonzo, Mookie Betts, Cole Calhoun, Adam Duvall, Manny Machado, and A.J. Pollock. And then... Let's grab everybody's names and the name on top will get those non-baseball cards from Heritage. I don't think I have any other randomizers to do. Nice. All right. So one dice roll for all of those lists. Low number, low number. Nice. Four to two, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So right side will get all those... Uh, those dual player cards. Four and a two, six times for the three player ones. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right side will get those. So all of the right side cards will get those three player cards. And this one was pretty unique. That's That was the only one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Team on top is going to be the ATL. That'll be for Jeremy Razor and the Braves. So you'll get this NL Home Run Leaders card. And then these th group of three right here, after six times, we'll go the name on top. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, name on top, is gonna be Jared. Jared K will get those three cards right here from Heritage. Non, no team associated with it. Cy Young Award, Rookie of the Year Award, and the Golden Gate National Recreation Area opening in 1972. All right, let's do a quick recap. Got the Bo Bichette. Got some nice cards out of Flawless. Some great relics. That's an awesome Kevin Biggio right there. The trio of old school Dodgers game use material. Jackie, Sandy, Duke. Kirlov, Mario and Rivera, Cabrian Hayes RPA, Ken Griffey, uh, Ken Griffey Sr., Pete Alonzo, Rated Rookie Hollow, Tristan McKenzie, another Pete Alonzo. We got a couple Emerson Hancocks for Seattle. And then a couple other nice ones out of Flawless. Four out of five, double diamond, Ken Griffey Jr. And the Mookie Betts downtown card, plus the Evan Longoria bat back there. What a great mixer, folks. That was Jaspie's 11-box triple crown baseball mixer on a Friday, the 4th, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.